What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, which was quite some time ago, we we ended up defeating Alessa and making our way to what is called Nowhere, chatting with Lisa, who talked about the basement and then ran off, which, you know, obviously was a, was a death flag. And we had quite a few questions about what's the role of Dahlia and all this, who is Alessa, and why is she relevant, is, you know, who's going to be the final boss, all that jazz. Why are we... why, why is this location called Nowhere? right? Why don't we have a map for this place anymore? I feel like we're either in a last dungeon of sorts, where we're going to have, you know, quite a bit to climb through, or um, or we're just going to be in for quite the surprise. Like I said, it has been a little bit since I last played, had a really stressful week, and then was away uh, from the internet for a few days um, off traveling, which was a wonderful time. But yeah, so I'm a little bit out of touch, but Hopefully, um, everything's going to turn out just fine, right? Just to make sure. Okay, so we got our usual battle stance. And we've got a decent amount of handgun ammo, I believe. Where? Why is the screen so shaky? I, I, I get the impression it's supposed to be unsettling. Especially given the perspective. It was like right from behind Harry's head. Oh man, this is totally final boss territory. Summit. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Oh yeah, this is totally final boss time, guys. Cheryl. I'm excited. Here we go. Just the sound of Harry's footsteps as we approach what may be our last experience with this game. Look at this unsettling angle. Oh, we can actually go in here. The bathroom isn't there. Are we gonna have to actually do anything in here? What is, it, what is up with this? There's a key in the faucet, but I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. We totally are, so we don't have a map for the place. I'm honestly so ready to be done with combat in this game though, so I hope we don't run into a bunch of enemies as we're running around here. That would be less than ideal. Okay, so there's a key in the first door on the left. Let's see what's going on over here. The birdcage is locked and there's clearly a key in there. Unlike the first time we'd seen it. What is that sound? Is that the bird? Or what? I think it's supposed to be like the sound of a bird, despite there not being one in the cage. I think? I don't know. That's the impression I get. <laughs> it's so quiet. Hello? Is this Cheryl? Or Alessa? Alessa, presumably. That's so eerie. The word... Phalig? Okay. How about this door? Looks significantly different from all the rest. Old clock. There's a square hole in the center of the clock. The hands of the clock. It's a key. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. Okay, so there are keys everywhere, is the impression I'm getting. And is this... This is the first room from the antique store. It's like all the different rooms, all the different places all over town are being conglomerated into one area. Even those first couple rooms we saw were, I'm pretty sure, on different floors of the hospital. We can save here, which is nice. Again, it's going to tell us we're, we're nowhere. Okay. None of this stuff is of any use. Are these rifle ammo? Is this rifle ammo or shotgun ammo? Shotgun shells. Nice. Anything back here? I believe the like hidden passage was over here. Just a wall. <laughs> the game anticipated people would come over there and look, so... Settled things that way. Alright then. Oh, 
We've got a friend. How many do we have? Oh, we have two of them? Okay. Are you coming over or what? Can't really see very well, but you know. That's okay. They're dead at least. Again, ready to be done with the, the combat in the game. That's locked. How about this door on the right? It's got something interesting. The word Ophiel, or Ophiel, is carved on the door. Are these names of kids that were kept here, maybe? What was that beeping sound? Oh, that's to the basement. Is there anything else we can explore up here? Because that is not where I really want to go. The word Haggith. Oh, I can actually see it, Haggith, down there. Huh. All right, well, down to the basement we go. And it's a classroom from the elementary school. There are no desks. Oh, there's one. Go home? Thief. Drop dead. Huh. That's rather aggressive of a message. It said, go home, thief, drop dead. I hope that's not relevant to a puzzle. Like I said, I'm ready to get these answers. But it very well may be. What do we have going on here? There are pliers. Okay. So we'll go back. I'm pretty sure the pliers are going to be what we need for the key from the very first faucet we saw. I don't want to explore too far without backtracking, you know, for fear of not being able to return here and missing out on something. So we'll go in here, and we should be able to use the pliers. And then we can maybe use the key on the uh, the birdcage. Oh, there's a key of Ophiel, or Ophiel. Okay, so we can go in that room now. Uncover a little bit more history. I believe that's this room up here. What are we gonna find in here? Huh? Oh man, I'm I'm totally gonna get lost. I'm so confused. There's so much going on. What does this say? Names engraved on the graph, the Grim Reaper's list. Oh, I remember seeing this in the hospital. Yes, the head count is set, young and old lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens awaiting them, the frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Okay, so that's another puzzle. I should have been taking pictures like earlier. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of this stuff. Um, the first one was go home, thief, drop dead. And then this says names engraved on a lithograph, the Grim Peep, the Grim, <laughs> Grim Peepers, uh, Grim Reapers list. Yes, the head count is set. Young and old lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Okay. We'll see what we can make do with that. Um, we've got plenty of rooms to explore over here. So I guess, I guess we'll get started with that. That lock is, or that door is jammed. How about this one? Okay. I, I appreciate that so many of these doors are jammed. I was getting really overwhelmed with the number of places we could explore, despite not having fully explored what we had already been, you know, moving through. It's like my completionist tendencies just get the better of me at that point. What is going on in here? 
What are these? Zero, and it's got these like fish. Is there gonna be a number next to each one or what? Two. Oh man, I should be I should be writing these down. What is that? A ram? It's four. So the fish were zero, the ram is four, two is like the scales, ten is the crab. It has to do with the um, like the number of things. So like the number of legs put on this crab is ten. The number of legs on the ram was four. The number of things on the scale was two, I believe, and then the number of legs on the fish was zero. So that's a that's a good way to remember it. But what is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so I think this should be four. And that's that's it. Can I like just hit enter now or, or am I done or what? I, th I think it should just be four. Maybe not. Is there something special I have to do? What about what about over here? One, two, three. Or is this four legs or is it like eight limbs? I think I'll go with the eight limbs for now. What do we have going on over here? One, two, three, four, five, six potentially. Hey, we got it. Look at us go. And what are we going to be rewarded with? There's a stone of time. Okay, so that's gonna be helpful for that clock, I believe that we saw in one of the earlier rooms. It said there's a square. Oh man, what are we getting attacked by? Really now? Oh, okay, we're about to get sliced again. So we'll use a health drink. Really? I find it incredibly amusing that Harry, from farther away, can shoot some of these nurses and, you know, kill them in three shots. Whereas up close, it takes a good, like a really good, you know, six shots in order to take them out. Nevertheless, we'll persevere. So we got the square tablet. I think we walked in through that door. Is there anything behind this door? No, okay. Let's check this end of the hall. What does this say? There's a slate. The Grim Reaper's List. Ah, so this is clearly relevant to that one puzzle. What are the names we have here? Lydia Findlay, Trevor F. White, Albert Lords, Roberta T. Morgan, Edward C. Briggs. Presumably, the age is the number on the left. Okay, can we go here? We cannot, it's locked. What's going on over here? Oh my goodness. We have a, what am, am I supposed to spell something out or what? Like, how do they want me to spell things out? Is it like every single name or is it like the first initial or what? Let's try the first initial. I feel like that would be the most sensible option. So it would be A-L-E-R-T. And that makes a lot of sense as well because it actually spells a word, alert. And I believe again, this is, which door do we come from? It was either this one or this one. Okay, so it was the one to the right of me. So we've explored all the other areas around here. A, L, E, R, and T. Nice. What's waiting for us in this room? 
another door. Anything else in like the corners, whether it's ammo, an item, a key, nothing? Apparently, I don't see anything that sticks out at least. So I guess we'll keep on going. Okay, some bodies. Bodies laid on the bed, don't feel like checking this out. How about any of how about any of the other ones? Any of particular interest to you, Harry? You know we're gonna have to check all of them just to be safe. Because there's no way I'm gonna miss out on something and have to backtrack through this maze of a place without a map, right? I see there's something on the back wall, but again. We're just going to play it safe. Okay, so none of the bodies have anything. But what in the world do we have here? An amulet of Solomon. Okay. I don't know why we need that just yet, but I'm sure it will become apparent eventually. Are we gonna get attacked in here? It's taking a minute to load. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? Oh, we found Lisa. How did you get, get here? Now. Why well, I'm still alive, even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. Hmm? I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. What does that mean? I'm so scared. Help me. Is she afraid she's turning into one of the nurses Save we've seen? Me from them. Please. Harry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to stay away, Lisa. Oh no, we got to have a boss battle with Lisa. Oh. No, we're about to have an emotional scene with Lisa. What? Is this the moment where she turns into a zombie? She's got- she's getting the motion. Oh my! Whoa! That's so sad! Someone we, like, cared about we're trying to protect, wanted to help. Realize they were becoming the monster they've now become. Wow. That's really sad. I'm... I'm tempted to see what happens if I try to go back in. What's this on the ground? There's a diary on the floor. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad. Need to throw up, but nothing comes out. Vomiting, only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. This is like her descent into, I don't know, whatever madness is consuming Satlet Hill at the moment. Need drug. Help me. Poor Lisa. Is this any insight into what we're experiencing right now? I am also so glad they decided not to have Lisa be like a boss fight here. Because truly with the music and everything, Despite the limited character time we've had in this game, they made that quite emotional. I'm very impressed. Oh, come on. Okay. There goes the music. Sad. Okay. Let's check on our health. We're doing all right. A um, little bit low on bullets, but you know, that's the usual at this point. We've got some shotgun. We've got a decent amount of handgun. Now, I think there was a room to save in. I definitely would appreciate being able to save. 
This was the first key we got in the faucet. There's the key in the bird cage we haven't gotten yet. This is a different room for a different name. This room was the room with the time, the clock, right? And the save spot. So let's save briefly after that incident with, uh, with Lisa. And now let's see if we can do something with this clock. Man, this music is so intense now. Where, where? I, I miss the emotional music. Okay, so we've successfully repaired the clock. No need to alert everyone to our location. All right, so we can probably grab one of the keys from in here. There's a key of Haggith. Okay, I figured it would be the the name of it, or the key for another room rather than the bird cage itself. We'll save again, just to be safe, because, you know, that's how games like this work, right? So, Haggith. I don't think that was this room. It was at the end of the hall. Yeah, it's written on the door, a little bit more clearly. Okay. And then, I, I bet we'll have to go downstairs and continue our exploration down there to fully get um, the, the last key. For I think it was like, I forget whose room it was. The very first one. Okay, so we got the elevator. We hit the button. Let's see, where can we go in the elevator? One, two, or three. I don't even know what floor we're on. So we can go to the second floor. What happens if we go to the second floor? I'm starting to get that feeling of, like, overwhelmed again just by the, the sheer fact that we haven't completely explored everything on the first floor slash the basement yet and we're already on the second floor. And I can actually go onto the second floor and we're gonna have multiple enemies. Aw, oh, man. That door is jammed. Okay. Can I see a little bit better, please? Thank you. Um... You know what, let's, let's try to swing it around a little bit. So we've got the Amulet of Solomon. The Amulet is a star-shaped object with six corners named after the ancient magician. Okay. Um, we'll use, we'll use this guy. Okay. Alright, that worked decently well. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's another one lingering somewhere. Back there, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see her moving around. Okay, nothing on this side. Alright, friend. Where are you at? There you are. Yikes. That looked rather intense. Alright, we'll, we'll explore the second floor. What do we got in here? Listen to that music! A crest of mercury. What is that gonna do? Rifle shells? Sure. It would actually be really nice to have that rifle now. I underestimated how little... or how much of the game we had left. What is this here? A ring of contract. Okay, and what are we going to have over here? Nothing? Okay, can we go through here? We can't. Man, the music in this room is so unsettling. I'm getting out of there. Yet the music lingers. Lovely. Just what I wanted. So we got a couple items from there. Oops, ran a little bit past it. Can we go in this door? We cannot. Okay. How about over here? Okay. How about over here? We can go through here. Okay, we've got a friend. Really? Two hit KO. Alright, I know our, our battle strategy from here on out. Let's take out this other nurse while we can. Well, it's like semi-convenient, I guess. 
Come on. Come on over. Oh, there are two of you. All right, Harry's about to get a little bit of a workout. Come on. Come on. Oh. What? Come on. Swing. I was going to say the the like more greenish uniform one got um, a little bit aggressive there and had to go around the other one to try to get first dibs. Whoa. Can we, uh, Harry? Harry. Do you need to be stomped? Kicked? Somewhere in between? Okay, that was not as smooth as I would have liked, but, you know, not the end of the world. Can we, let's check this door. Nope. Okay. This door. Nope. Okay. This door. Definitely. It's unlocked. Huh. Did we just unlock it? Oh, wait a minute. This is back towards... Oh, so that's back to the very first room. Huh? But we were on the second floor. Oh, Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, Silent Hill. Never cease to uh, confuse. Okay, that door is not cool. This door is not cool. How about this door here? Ah, yes, here we go. Okay. What in the world are we going to find? It's probably back here and on the wall. Oh, it looks like... Nope. Every single time I look at these tables, I think there's something. It is just the straps of the table. Okay, real quick before I get caught up on what's on the wall. Anything else doesn't look like... The steel plate is screwed to the wall. We don't have anything we could potentially use here. Um, we may need to add something to it. What about the crest? Nope. Amulet of Solomon. Nope. Ring of Contract. Nope. All right, then I don't think there's much else to do here. <laughs> it is worth remembering that on the second floor, there is a room we can go in. Camera. That has such a steel plate. And otherwise, there's not really anything else. Okay, with that we can walk back towards the elevator. And potentially go to the third floor? Right? Because I'm pretty sure we explored every other door. Okay, so let's head on up. So, I wonder... So there's the third floor. And then, I wonder if it'll give us the option of the fourth floor. Only one way to find out. Oh my. So ominous right off the bat. The third floor just throws us right into the mix of things. So there's that altar type thing. From before. Oh, we clearly have some sort of puzzle to solve on this side in order to get through that door. And probably a similar puzzle on this side. Yep. Okay. So we've got some stuff to figure out. Let's take a look at our altar here. It looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. Is there anything else I can do with it? What about these paintings? The light illuminating the darkness. Okay. And what do we have over here? The light to the future. Can I use something here? Ring of contract? No. No. Okay, looks like nothing to really use here. At least nothing that I have at the moment. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to use one of these here? Let's try it. No, 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 okay. Is there, what do I, how do I even interact with this? So I'm hitting buttons, but I don't I don't know what any of these mean. Uh, I feel like they might be related to the two paintings here. Hmm.
Yeah, I don't know. Like, what happens if I choose one on each of them? Oh, I can I can even choose more than one of them? That increases the number of possibilities here, like, astronomically. This is not something I'll be able to brute force my way through, worst case scenario. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so yeah, we've clearly got something to figure out there. And again, I don't... I feel like it might be related to this, but I'm not seeing anything that immediately gives it away. The light to the future. Like, maybe the locations of the hands? Or like the the yellowish like prominences like I don't know like maybe like the middle like cardinal left and cardinal down would be relevant. I'm not sure though. I feel like we'll have to find those clues somewhere else. And this one would maybe be like all of the central columns, but I don't know why how that'd be relevant to like three individual panels. Regardless, it's good to know that the third floor has the altar and like those two doors. I think that means our only next step is actually to go back to the first floor, go downstairs, and see what's down there. Because we had made some progress before we started getting all these keys. We still have one of the named doors we haven't gone through, and that was the, the very first one, I believe. Um, where am I going? Okay. Over here. Yeah, so I think this was the basement? Yeah, so we're going to go to the basement, and then this is the last name door we haven't gone through. Phalag. I'm trying to think if there's, like, if these are actual names, or if it's something that, uh, I don't know, I need to be, like, thinking of in terms of what object could this be, what spell could this be, could this be, a, you know... So could it be representing something more than simply just a name of the time or something like that? Regardless, we're going to save and we're going to say that we'll continue to explore this place in the next episode. I, every For the past couple episodes, I've been saying, I think we're getting really close to the end, but we're still obviously quite not quite there. Um, the moment with Lisa was really touching, uh, really, really heartfelt. Really feel bad for her. You come to know her a little bit. You come to care for her about, or care about her a bit. And... Um, and her struggle and to see her i think the the whole concept of realizing you're becoming a monster and then becoming the monster and attacking the person that you had come to care about and rely on and depend on um is is a pretty touching concept and so that was really well done with the music and all that the animation as well you know the or the cutscene was really cool exploring this area has been really neat it's been really interesting um not a fan of combat, just in general. And I think it's both a strategic, somewhat frustrating, but understandable and reasonable move to not provide a map to the player at this point. We only have that one door left. We're going to go in the basement and continue exploring, see if we can find everything we can there. Presumably find a key to this phallic door. Go through there, explore a bit, hopefully learn enough to solve the mystery of those doors on the third floor. And... I think I think that'll then be it, working with the altar and everything. Like I said, I think we're getting closer and closer to that final boss where we see what really happened with Alessa. We're getting a bit of a picture with the nurse's diary and, you know, Dahlia's little speech about her being her daughter and everything. We're, we're really getting close to that, getting the whole picture, but we're not quite there. But I hope you guys are looking forward to figuring it out just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.